Hi, I'm Peter Kelmstrom of Kelmstrom.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you some basic usage of formulas in a, a bit more complicated example. As you see, I have a sales calculation here with uh, no formulas yet, just input data. So I'm going to select this and just format it as input data, also making it very clear what's input, that is what should be changed eventually, or what can be changed and also what the formulas are. So these are the, the prices and these are the counts that um, can be input into the calculation, into the formula. And of course the rest here is going to be formulas. So let's start by doing the math here. Actually everything doesn't fit. Let's fix that first so we can see everything. That's what we want to look at and I'm going to fit that to the selection so that we can use it without scrolling. My preferred method here of doing absolute references is using named cells. So now first I'm going to calculate the margin and I'm going to do that by naming this margin cell. I'm going to name it margin and just pressing enter here up in the name box. That means that I can now use that in my formula and the formula is going to start with an equal sign, multiply the in price with the margin. I'm going to type in margin there and the benefit of doing that is that I can now go ahead and fill that all the way down and that will of course use the margin named range all the time. So if I select there you see that it's using that margin cell. While I'm at working up there I can actually go ahead and format these as percent because that's what they are. And of course, the next one that I'm going to do is the VAT. I'm going to name that cell too, typing in the name box and pressing enter on the keyboard. And then doing the math here equals the in price multiplied by the VAT, typing that in. And then I'm going to just fill that all the way down. All right. The out price is simply the in price plus the margin plus the VAT. Or if you prefer, you can do the sum to equals the sum of these three. And since these are all relative references, that they're calculating the stuff to the left, I can just fill down. And these I don't need anymore. All right, the price to customer is the out price, of course, multiplied by the count. And uh, that one is, again, just stuff to the left. So I can just go ahead and fill that all the way down. And the sum, there's an old formula there, so I'm going to be uh, summarizing this. The sum of all that is simply the sum of these values, right? All right, now it gets a bit more complicated. I need to do a lookup here. And as you see, the total uh, sale here, the price to customer, is uh, 18,000. That gives us a discount bracket here of 17%. If you're purchasing for more than 17,500, then you get a 17% discount. And the formula we need to use then is a vertical lookup. And this is a bit more complicated formula, so I'm going to use the function guide for that one. And the lookup, and they're in the lookup and reference section here. And here is one called vertical lookup, which is the one we want. And the lookup value, the one I want to look for, is of course the 18,000 here, the sum of the sales. And the table I want to use is this one. If you're referencing a table many times, I would of course recommend naming that range also, instead of typing in the cell references there. And finally the column, I want to have the second column and here you see I get 17 percent and that of course should be a percentage again and now the discount uh, dollar amount is the sale amount multiplied by the discount it gives us a three thousand dollar discount and the to pay is the sum minus the discount now the cost of product is the number of products multiplied by the in price. 
simple enough. And then we can fill that all the way down. Now and all the way down to there. And uh, we can summarize all that too. Removing that one. Now the profit is a bit more complex. The profit on each row could be calculated like this one. You will have the price to customer minus the cost of products minus the VAT because we don't get to keep that one and that's going to be multiplied by 3. In this case the count of the number of um, items, right? Because they have the 2125 per item. So that means that we have a profit of 76 for all that. All right, I'm going to fill that one down uh, and fill it all the way down there actually. And again, the sum of all that, we have a $3,000 profit on that. Beautiful. Now the final step that I want to do is simply go ahead and format all of these here as dollars and without any decimals do it again here and no decimals and this should be dollars too. Alright, that gives us a rather nice and tidy looking calculation with all the numbers correct. Thank you for watching this demonstration.